wearing. Dude, what are you wearing, dude? Look, you already know if I'm matching with Kyle, we're gonna slay some fish today, and that's what it is. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Kyle knows what's going on. Day number two, snapper season. Um, it is going to be gorgeous out there. I don't know how many more days we're gonna get like this. We've got good weather, low winds. I'm stoked. I went to Academy. I got the goods, and it's time to go catch some fish, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Sugar Shane is officially here. You know when Sugar Shane shows up because he's usually doesn't have a lot of clothes on. <laughs> there you go, Shane. That was beautiful. Oh, another day of making memories. Let's go. Every offshore trip, there's a key few pieces of tackle that I have rigged up. Number one is gonna be our pitch line. This is 80 pound fluorocarbon paired with a tiny size three aught circle hook. These are great for a big ling coming up or a big mahi. You could throw something on there real quick like a sardine or a shad. Our snapper rig, this is a 100 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader here with a eight aught circle hook and a size eight ounce egg sinker. We put uh, squid, sardine, shad, mullet, send it to the bottom right over these rigs and reefs and all that good stuff. Catch monster snapper. Our kingfish leader. This is 60 pound wire, piano wire with a haywire twist all the way down to a size eight aught circle hook. We pitch these to hang out in the upper water column and those kingfish go nuts. So we're rigged up, we're ready to rock. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Great to see you. How are you, sir? Good to see you guys. Awesome, awesome. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's load it up. I'm hobbling. All right, guys. Let's walk on the board. We'll work our way up to the front here. All of our life jackets, adult size, are going to be inside that center console, and we also have some spares right here, along with a flare kit. Beautiful day. Looks like y'all picked like the perfect day for the next. Uh, two weeks. We, this, one, this might be our last little weather window to get out there. So we're excited. We did fish it yesterday. We caught some awesome fish. All right, guys, we're rolling up to our spot. We made it 60 miles offshore. We're stoked. We're gonna go hit these big monster fish on the bottom. I'm stoked. Let's go. Water looks good. We've got good blue water. Nice and calm out here. Dropping down this eight ounce egg sinker with a nice little circle hook there. That's a size eight aught circle. Sending it about 80 foot down. We're fishing 120 foot of water. Those big mamas seem to be hanging low in the water column. So we're letting this line go all the way down and uh, reel it in a few cranks and holding on. Look at him hooked up right there. There you go, big fish on.
Bring it in, bring it in. It might be the shark. Literally. That's why I was fighting That's, so much. That was a big fish. We just took, she just took this huge fish. The line was peeling off. And man, about halfway through, the fish stopped fighting. That's why a giant shark yep. down there smoked it. Wow. That's crazy. But that was a big snapper. Yeah. Hey, at least you tried. <laughs> Determined. Yeah, he. Woo! Oh, you got it! I though. caught it! I've done it again! Nice job, brother. Yeah, that's the limit! <laughs> oh, my word. Navy, when you get your fishing, can I please have the belt? Oh, my god. You got it, you got it. It could be a big shark, could be a big kingfish. It's giant, whatever it is. Keep that going, keep that going. You got it. Absolutely no idea what this fish is. He came up to the surface, so we thought it was a kingfish. Now he's diving straight down. No, no, on me, dude. Oh, Lord. Walk up with me. Come on, come on. Real as he walks, real as he walks. Getting close, getting close, Kyle, getting close. All right, that way. Whoa. Woo. There you go, there you go, there you go. He's a beast. I see it. I see it. What is it? You got it. God! Oh, Huge charge. Oh, sick, sick. Woo! Yeah! Here you go, here you go, here you go. I think we're good on the rope. Big shark. Oh, there we go. Big shark. I got the footage. He's gonna go. Right. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Alright, guys, just got that absolute stud shark. Man, you never know what's gonna hit offshore. 150 pound giant uh, spinner shark. So, epic fight. Shark. No, it's not a shark, dude. It looks uh, like a shark, but it's a lynx. That's a great catch. It's a little small, but that's a footage. Great. Yeah, we're gonna net it. Nice! Walk it back, walk it back. Oh, in the net, in the net, in the net, in the net. There you go, get it in, get it in, get it in. I don't want it to hook me, baby. Cobia. Okay. Highly, highly sought after fish. Awesome catch. They do get a little bit bigger to keep. That's a great fish though. Exciting. See, we'll pull up on stuff that's floating here and we'll throw a bunch of chum out. Man, there could be anything from little mahi on here all the way to big cobia, as you can see. We're tired. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun, but we're tired. We're fun. We hope you to watch these two. Yeah, still follow them. That's what it's all about right there. Catching a bunch of big fish. Imagine those guys on those tuna ships back in the old days. You know, oh yeah. Bringing them one or out the other like this. A little cane pole action? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness oh, gracious. And you know those probably all weigh 20 pounds. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They pile a boat up with them. I tell you what, those are some of the healthiest snapper I have seen right there. Those things are absolutely giants. Oh Very man. Healthy. Very healthy. Very healthy fish, dude. Oh! I had a trip tomorrow, I can't come and hit it, you know, back to back because yeah. you do it two days in a row, those fish are going to be gone. Mm -hmm. So you've always got to be constantly 
kind of jumping around, but find new spots late. every day. New spots because you got a late start yesterday. Y'all stay pretty close. Yeah, we were shore. 35 miles inshore, so that's uh, we were at the Buccaneer Field uh, fishing outskirts. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel good now. I feel real good now. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was really wanting them to catch a big old snapper, and this spot absolutely put the cherry on top of the cake. We got some giant monster snapper in there. Our smallest one's got to be like pushing 30. I mean, 30 inches. I mean, that's a. I mean, you're talking absolute perfect megalodon fish. Yeah, I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were recording the whole time. 13 minutes. Damn. No. Give no. Give me a month before you get you. A month. How dare you? I think something turned off. What are those? What are those? <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, look, when you break your foot, you still love to catch big monster fish. You just gotta make do, man. This is what I do to fillet fish. <laughs> look at that, I tie it in through my belt loop here. What are those? <laughs> here's the button right here, and here's the GoPro button. Does it look exactly the same thing? <laughs> Yeah, it does look the same thing. And you forgot right. to record me. We missed one good, super important part. Kyle did a front flip into the ocean after we caught a 300 pound shark. It was epic and I failed to record it. We're gonna get another epic shot tomorrow. And if I don't remember which button it is, I'll pull up this picture and it's gonna be epic. See you then. <laughs> mm. I know.